Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you're doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. Welcome to the Account Solutions. Thank you for coming by again on this YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you our updated bakery account solution. This is an Excel template that was designed for a client in the bakery um, business. So most of our clients have been using this template in their various branches to keep their basic sales data, production and sales data. However, we've updated this template to what you're seeing on the screen now. This is um, the modified version from what you are used to. So for the um, staff of our clients using this template already, you'll be seeing some slight changes from what you're used to. So, but the overall structure is the same. The reports are the same, but we have more modified and advanced reports based on the request of some of the branches. So let's get into Excel. Once you open it, you will see that the interface has changed. We have a new login um, user form now. So type in your login name as usual and your passcode. Then you log in. Wrong password. Make sure you type in the right password. Look on the dashboard now. The dashboard is different from what you are used to. So we have um, up to four tables here they will not make sense now until we start populating the data the template is still empty when we start posting the data you'll begin to see reports populating this dashboard but let me just explain if you look at the header we have daily product quantity check we have product on this column stock balance as at this date so today is 13th of august 2021 i'm making this video all you need to do is to change this date once you change this date to populate the other date on this um, dashboard to give you a day before today then today's date for product in product out product in quantity of product produced or received from other branches product out quantity of product sold disposed or sent to other branches then stock balance as of today so you have the opening stock um, product you produce or receive from other branches product sold or Take it to other branches, then closing stock at the end of the day. Then, if you move further to your right, we have daily total sales amount, we have sales figures, auction sales figures, and the amount of product in value sent to other branches. We have total amount received for that particular day. Then, we now have remember this day is based on what you type here and the week you select. From this place you need to type a date to view the report for that particular day and the week move for that down to your right we have weekly product quantity check so we have for this week you've selected based on the week you selected we have quantity produced at the branch quantity received from other branches quantity sold at the branch quantity sent to other branches and total product in and total product out product in means the number of products you have available for sale that's finished products finished product your bread your chin chin your snacks your donuts those are your uh, products we don't have raw materials in this template now i have total product out quantity of products you know you sold or issued at at a particular day and the last table here we have the partners where your customers distributors agents will have um, different products that they bought a particular day so let's go first to the setup click on setup tables so we have some setup here on my far right we have the transaction tables we have production sales my advice is don't change these setups they've been configured to work with the template don't change it you can add other types of transactions but we've covered most of what you would see in any bakery so you need to type in the names of your product and the short names so we we'll use the short names to post so assume my product name is King's Way High Loaf. The short name will be 
king's loaf for example unit price could be 500 in naira then maybe cottage can be 600 cottage means how many how many loaves of bread will a bag of flour produce for this product how many loaves of bread with a bag of flour produce for this product so you can just populate you know other um, products down here then the names is very important names of your partners i could have a uh, first name cynthia black can be a distributor we have jenny white can be a salesperson so just put type in all the names of your distributors agents employees accountants supervisors whoever will be using this template uh, whoever will be having their names appear on this template when we start posting putting their names here so just pause the video i'll go ahead and populate all the names of my product and my partners you can do the same pause the video open the template populate all the names of your product all right welcome back you can see from my screen i've populated my product names my the product um, ids or short names unit price for each product then cottage you can always come back and change the unit price for your product okay to have the updated unit price when the prices change now i have my partners i have the sales reps secretary accountant customer level one two three and four i'll explain customer levels in uh, two other videos on bakery products we have the first video on a on our bakery template you can look at that video the link is shared below this um, video we have on that um template for those staff the sales reps now this these are two templates we give to our clients in bakery business we have one they use for the sales reps who issue receipts to the customers as front desk we now have the one that the account clerk or account secretary uses to you know maintain uh, control of whatever was produced and sold at the particular day so the one i'm showing you now is the one for the account clerk or bookkeeper to keep records of the bakery so you can just go ahead and see the link below this video to see other templates and you can decide the one that you want to use based on your specification and needs for your particular bakery so once you've done this back end you are good to go let's go back to our dashboard you can see we now have um items populated in, on the front end here we have all our product listed out here and we also have um the zeros all in this place when we start posting we would see um the figures will start to populate as we post our products so let's go to user interface and start to post our transactions so the first thing you need to do is to post all your productions or all the products you receive from other branches ensure you post them in to have what you want to sell of course this is not the point of sales uh, person so most times the account clerk is posting this at the end of the day it doesn't really matter if they post production before um, sales but if you want to check the stock balance you must post in production before you post in sales So select your sales group sales group are categories of people who come in to buy your products from your bakery we have the agents distributors drivers if you have a system where drivers take the bread to different locations and sell or supply there we have working consumers those who come into your bakery and buy we have supervisors accounts departments sales people general factory workers can want to buy from um, the, the front decks so let us start from supervisors I'm looking at the control book now so production date was let's use 8th of august 21 now sales date like i explained in the other video if you are recording production then sales date becomes the same thing as the production date because you don't make any sales yet then we have the shift date if it's a night shift or a day shift for um some bakery they present night shift with the day the night shift began and the date ended so this is the night shift so i'll start from 07 slash 08 this is 7th of august slash 8th of august slash august which is the month slash 21 so please if you adopt this method please stick to it you can see once i typed in this shift date the shift turned to night 
because the system recognizes that this is not a normal date but if i type a normal date here 8th of august 21 it turns to day because it says this is a normal day shift so you can just type in the date you want to use here if you're using a shift remember 07 slash 08 slash 08 slash 21 please maintain this format of shift date if it's a, if it's a nice shift and it will give you shift the name of party who is supervisor that received or that received the product or who issued the product from the um, control or production unit you select the name of the supervisor so in this case professor that um issued this product flora sort then transaction type is production movement stock movement type is product in that means you are receiving product into finishing finished goods department or into packaging so it becomes your product in when you receive those products then the week is second week or the first week of august you scroll down second week of august then we are done with this um headings you now come to the product how many products did you how many products did you produce that day so i'll pick i'll pick all of them So you type in the production number or packaging number or docket. So as the docket that the production unit issued to the packaging unit, put the numbers here. It could be any number on the on the docket. Just type in there. So if they are the same production batch, you just type in the same number for all the cells. Then the quantity produced, let's say I produce 2097 quantity for this one. So go ahead and type in all the product quantity that you produce for the particular batch. So I've typed in the so I've typed in the receipt. So I've typed in the docket number or production number or control number for this batch. And the quantity of bread or snacks you have produced. What is left here is number of bags. How many bags of flour did I use to produce this number of um, bread or products? You need to type in the bags of flour that was used. So let's assume I use three here or five here. You need to type all of them. So I've now typed in the bags of flour that are used to produce this quantity this sales receipt number leave them vacant is for when you are making sales unit price leave them vacant when you are making sales once this is okay everything is good to go i'll click on post there's a control question are you sure these entries are correct i am sure i'm not sure i will click on no but i'm sure yes Your entry have been posted okay and we are good to go the interface will just clear out waiting for you to put on that post but let's check what we've done so far go back to your dashboard dashboard you can see today is um 13th of august this production we posted was for 7th 8th of august so as of 12th of august this was our stock balance you can see them on this column as of today that is 13th nothing is here so we'll post production for today will come in under product in you can see our balance for today end of today is the same quantity okay that we'll have for today let's change this to week week two week two you can see the balances in week two for sales amount nothing yet weekly product quantity check quantity produced at, in the branch look at what we have at the branch production now based on week two chosen the highest um, product was produced was AW slice rules. We produce 3,996 product uh, quantity of that product. If I change this date now to the 8th of August, for example, now 7th of August on that stock balance, nothing was there because there was no stock at the 7th of August. But on the 8th of August, product in will now have this figure, so it's now populating product in based on the date you've chosen here to populate product in for you at the end of 8th of august we now have this amount 
If I change this date to the 12th, the 7th of August 21, everything is empty because out of the 7th of August, there was no posting into this template. So you can see this template is dynamic. It gives you a report based on the week or date you type in or select in this place. You get your report. Going next, let's try to post sales. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to make your sales posting and also view the various reports. Thanks for coming by. See you in the next video. Cheers.